the government says that they needed to change and now the new laws are more victim centric they are more concentrating on women and children the weaker lot the government says as far as victim centric as concerned you know earlier we used to see whenever a, a victim used to go to a police station to register as fir uh, saying that the crime did not fall in their jurisdiction they used to make her go from one police station to another but as per new law that is the bns a zero fir can be registered regardless where the crime has taken place now she would have the right to information an fir copy would have to be given to her as soon as possible and she would also have right to uh, get information so far as what investigations are got going on within 90 days that is the stipulated time period prescribed in the law that you need to provide her whatever investigations that you are doing another uh, cases of rape gang rape or sexual assault each uh, statement of the victim would be videographed this again is needed because we have seen many a times accused exert pressure on victims to change their state statements or also withdraw cases but now once her uh, uh, you know statement is recorded that would not be that loophole would not be used by the accused party secondly uh, the main important law is as far as the terrorism is concerned earlier they were defined in special laws whether it's uapa or mcoca but the union home minister says that in certain states the special laws are not there in those uh, states the cases if any case was being regist registered it was registered under crpc and the accused used to get a benefit of doubt and his quantum of punishment used to come down so now there would be a uniform law throughout the country